All right, gents, what's going on? Welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2. Today, with a super awesome little video, if you ask me. Also, what the hell is a T40? Um, so, uh, you know, I was going... Actually, I'm going to pause it just for a second. If you don't want to listen to this, skip ahead a minute and a half. Um, so, I was just watching some stuff on my channel, and I came across these pretty old videos of uh, of me playing the customizable skirmish mod, also known as the Terminator mod, way, way back. Uh, I'm talking here about, like, uh, 2015, 2016. Um, and as I was watching these videos, he was like, you know what? Let's look it up again. And uh, it's kind of broken, so I figured I wouldn't play it. A day after that, I opened a workshop page, and I see this amazing customizable skirmish copy that Normand, the dev of the Valor mod, uploaded. Right now, it's been taken down, I believe, to be fixed. But we have the customizable skirmish mod in Valor now. With Valor units, Valor explosions, Valor graphics, and also Valor stability. And the main thing about the Terminator mod is that models were broken. Models were not always working. It was honestly... Was there a plane hovering over here? There is a plane hovering over there. It was honestly one of the most frustrating things in the world to play that game, spend an hour, hour and a half or longer in the game to just have it crash. Um, so now, hopefully, with this being part of Valor and Normand, in my opinion, being known for his, uh, his very stable mod, I'm pretty excited to check this out. And, um, you know, see how it goes. And then if it goes good and it doesn't crash, we can do some other ba uh, battles. I mean, this is just a 1942-43 defense mission uh, where I am playing as the Soviets. And we'll have um, two, uh, a German and a Hungarian AI attack us. And I also have an, a Russian AI. Uh, and the cool thing about this, honestly... Is that you can set up, you can determine a map, there's like 15 or 20 maps you can pick from. And then you can pick the gear, whether it's, uh, you know, everything, so like 42 to 45 and beyond. Or in this particular battle, like I said, I'm doing 42 and 43. And you can pick your enemies, you can pick your friendlies. On some maps, like in this particular one, Ice Village, I believe it's called. I can't find it, Ice Village. Uh, you can even choose to defend or to attack. Um, and it makes, for people like me who are very bad at the editor, it makes, so you can basically make your own battles, even though you have absolutely zero skill to, you know, whatsoever, to actually make these in the editor. And, uh, really awesome, honestly, that Norman spent time working on this, because the cool thing about this mod, or, I mean, uh, about the um, Terminator mod, sorry, is or was that it had these cool little stupid vehicles, you know, that were obviously, uh, you know, fake or it had like these world tanks, like ripped, honestly, like world tanks ripped content. But it was really, really cool. And what we have now, also, we only have availability here, which kind of sucks. I guess we'll get some Marines though, because we do, we need to get some Marines, we'll get some Red Guards. Wait, Red Guards are how much? 500? Holy shit. All right, well, if I knew that when I clicked on it, I would have done it maybe. Um, but with Valor, you get these models because Norman really doesn't want to get taken down. At least that's what he told me. So he makes his models himself. And just like with the Terminator version, this version goes all the way to Cold War as well. So you can actually have a Cold War scenario. Now, obviously, the nations in, the, in right now are uh, pretty standard. It's uh, Great Britain, France, Germany... UK or uh, Italy, Hungary, and Japan, and I'm maybe missing one. But the point is, uh, the Soviet Union, obviously. But the point is that right now, this is obviously you know pretty simple, and it's basically a carbon copy of uh, the Terminator mod as it you know was at the time. However, now I believe you know I'm gonna pause it for one second. The enemies are on the map. I do believe that he wants to keep working on it and expanding it, which I'm really excited for. So, we see here, the Germans have more artillery than I can count. Oh, that's not true. They have four. They have three heavy howitzers and a light howitzer. And their first wave consists of infantry with Panzer Shreks, 
and uh, STGs. We have uh, 223, another squad of infantry, 223, another squad of infantry. So not too bad. The artillery, however, is honestly what I'm more scared for than anything. Uh, let's put this SU-152 up there. We'll grab our half track and put it over here. And the Marines, though half of them are kind of stuck back here, which is kind of frustrating. We have to get those guys in the trenches before we gone get wrecked, son. So, um, I'm not really sure how this is going to work out. Uh, hopefully it works out good. Like I said, I mean, this is the, literally the first time I'm playing this. Well, this is the first time I'm testing out this version uh, that, you know, Norman uploaded. So, hopefully it doesn't crash. Hopefully it works out fine. I have no clue. I already realized just now that my SU-152 has lost half of, both its tracks, which is pretty, pretty frustrating. We only also have eight rounds of each, or nine rounds of each. But I think if we get a good 152 shell on that uh, Panzer IV, they should be dead. Oh, I guess we could load for the, or aim for the artillery instead. Well, aim, <laughs> aim is a big word considering that shell literally went to a different realm. <clears throat> realm. Uh, let's set up the defenses real quick. So the way this works is uh, the AI will do kind of its own thing. But you can ask them for support in specific areas. Uh, you got. You can even loan money. You can lend money. You can start borrow money. You can determine the weather. You can determine the time of day. Um, there's uh, lots of different options. There's uh, settings for automatic medicking. Ooh, that was just a miss. How did I not kill anyone? Also, my AI is doing garbo so far because they're not killing the the two two three. Well, then again, neither is my infantry, but that's okay. Oh, here comes the second wave. With what? Are you kidding? They get Panzerwerfers? They have a buttload of riflemen coming in again. That's not good. That's... Oh, no. Oh, this is going to go really bad. I, oh, no. What just happened? Okay, well, there goes that. All right, let's borrow some money. Dismount. <clears throat> let's set up a defense marker for my AI. So these things, as you can see, are... <laughs> are going to go pretty ham uh we might have to come up with something here i'm not really too sure i mean none of, none of these kvs is gonna be Ooh, that was brutal that was what is this holy shit all right well we are getting absolutely recaroonied i cannot get any decent tanks is there any spgs that i could uh, is this 30 is bad btr there's nothing in there all right well Let's set up my red guards and hope that by the time I set these up, my AI brings up something. So the way this also works is AI is actually really smart. They'll automatically man guns, revive infantry if they're medics. Um, it's honestly one of the better mods that was on the workshop for a very long time. And it got removed at the time. Um... Or maybe it's back on there, but it got removed at one time just because it was, honestly, it was stolen content and it was very laggy. And then again, this is also kind of laggy, but, uh, where am I going to put this guy? He has the 50 cal. Also, I'm running, so I'm, the mods I'm running are Valor and uh, Valor customizable skirmish, obviously, to play this. And I'm running the uh high-res guns which high-res guns and uniforms and weapons and stuff honestly when i started playing men of war assault squad one way back i did not think that you know the the game like honestly i know people are gonna be like what the fuck are you talking about but this looks for men of war these infantry look amazing their guns look amazing their their inventory looks amazing honestly I did not think this game would ever get to look like this, considering it looked like absolute garbo trash before. So I guess we're going to spend 950 points on a KV-1 just to get some sort of armor out here. Because we are getting stomped by Panzer 3s. There's more Panzer 3s than I can count. Uh, the defense game mode might not have been the best one to start this off with, to give you an actual idea of how this... Uh, of how this well i guess game mode supposed to be played but um you know we'll see if this is going to be a short video i guess so be it uh you know there's not much i can change about that 
I definitely would play more of this because this was my favorite mod to play uh, for Assault Squad 2 for the longest time. I mean, obviously, it didn't add a lot. It had a lot of crash issues and issues in general with FPS and, uh, well, there's more than that. It was basically a very unfinished mod thrown together, but it, when it worked, it was awesome. And I kind of miss playing those things because those were really fun and with Valor, especially with Valor, I feel like, I mean, look at that T-34, it looks so, so much better than the vanilla stuff and in, in the end, it, to me, yeah, graphics don't make a video game and I'll be the first person to say that, yeah, graphics are, you know, just part of the game, they're not the entire game, but I would rather look at a beautiful game that runs good than look at a shit game that runs good or I guess you know they both would run bad I, I, I should say I'd rather look at a shit game or the good game that looks shit no hang on I'm, conf I'm confusing myself more than anything oh my god what I'm trying to say is that Men of War by itself runs like shit so you might as well have it run extra shit but have it look better at the time there you go that's what I was trying to say all the time and with Valor you know it does add a lot of effects, tanks exploding, smoke, art sounds, HD skins for infantry and tanks. It's honestly, to me, like one of my go-to mods. Honestly, over Rob's is because the amount of stuff that is in Valor and how often Valor updates compared to Rob's. I understand, you know, that that just means, you know, Rob probably has less time in his, you know, to, to mod and it's still something he does for free. It's appreciated nonetheless, but... When I compare the two, there's, there's going to be one winner, right? And Rob's has the more realism, um, more realism in ammo, etc., etc., or to the point where a, a German MG34 and a you know an FG42 use different ammo, which is totally understandable. But from a gameplay perspective, there are certain things of realism that you know maybe I don't want to deal with every single time I play a game. And having different ammos for everything, like if I have a soldier who has an MG42 and I kill an American with a BAR, yeah, unrealistic, but I just want to pick up his ammo. It's just something that I want to do, I don't know, it just makes sense, also people are burning to death over there, it's pretty horrible. And something you can't do in ROBS, and ROBS maybe, in some cases, went a bit overboard to realism, it looks amazing, it sounds amazing, but in the same time, you got Valor, which to me, graphics-wise, isn't, if... I wouldn't say is equal, but I definitely want to say it's very far behind to Rob's in terms of graphics, in terms of explosions, in terms of uh, tank versus tank combat. Tanks are still going to explode if you hit them in the correct spot. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's fucking amazing. And you have the same idea over here with the fire and the flames. Also, here comes the second wave. With, I'm still certainly surprised we don't see more Hungarians. Maybe it's because I'm maybe it's because I'm playing defense and only takes in account the first nation I filled in. I should have filled in Hungary, Hungary, not Hungaria. Should have filled in Hungary. Anyway, well, you know, you, you win some, you lose some. My AI is honestly surprisingly ineffective. Usually the AI in these things. Look at that! What the fuck? There's an SU-14. And watch it get immediately wrecked by an AI here. Well. Oh, Panzerwerfer. Rotate the gun. Okay, we're at 2,000 points. I need to kill. Oh, no! What the hell happened? Oh, God. What the hell happened to the SU-14? It just exploded. That was... Awesome, but brutal at the same time. We're gonna need uh, more tanks here um, Let's get a kv2 I guess we're, we're trying to hold the line here. We got the oh British made Valentine tanks. Thank you British comrades for your lent lease We very much appreciated Appreciate it. Sorry not appreciated Let's get infantry squad forward I need some artillery of some sort, but I don't think there's any big art. Well, there's big artillery, but I'm looking for like rocket artillery. Or oh, a 52k. Now that's a gun we could use. 
Get these guys in the trench ASAP. Let's go. I don't think we're going to get there anymore. We're going to have to put them over here in this trench. Yeah, this KV-1 is not in a great, great spot anymore. Uh, KV-2 over here. Heavy MG. That looks really cool. Let's get one of these. I don't know what that is. It looks weird. Um, infantry. I guess we're fine. What is this? Why did it look so weird in the picture? Oh, it's like a stationary machine gun, but it's a... Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like a it's like a Crouch High Tripod DS. It's not like the standard stupid vanilla machine guns that are like the, the Tripod High ones with a shield that just looks super unrealistic. I know. I love Valor. I can't get around it. Probably one of my favorite mods. And I'm happy to see that Valor is, as always, expanding. Or Norman is expanding on Valor. Uh, Valor itself isn't expanding on itself, because that'd be weird. I don't think Valor has a conscious yet. Uh, although I'm sure if Norman would add a conscious if he could, because this mod, honestly, is one of my favorites. But I'm sucking enough dick right now. Um, all I'm trying to say is, check it out. I'll link it in the description. If the mod is back online, like I said, it did. It was offline, or it is offline at the time I'm making this video. It's not available to the public. He pulled it down, most likely, like I said, to repair it. Oh, you can tow. You can tow that with a T20. I didn't even know that. That's fucking badass. I mean, I know. I knew that it was like a. I knew it was like one of those ones on a tripod, but I had no clue you could do that. Ooh, the thing is, it makes these big, sweet battles. I know, I love this stuff. Camouflage, let's add some camo. What do we got back here? Some buttload of Panzer threes. There's just Panzer threes at the asshole. With some Panzer fours, one or two in the middle there. There's a an idiot flak truck. My KV is uh, is heavily armored enough where it can withstand shots from the Panzer threes all day long. But at the same time, it's got a bad enough gun where it can't really pin the enemies, which is funny. We'll put the mortar back here. Oh, here comes the next wave. More Panzerwerfer. We got another half track full of infantry. Snipers in here. More infantry. Holy shit. All right, where was I? Um... Let's put this forward. FPS has taken a massive hit, which is understandable. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Why is this thing already damaged? Are you absolutely kidding me? Or is this guy a soldier or is he a recruit? Or, okay, never mind, he is a soldier. We can't rotate this gun until the thing's fixed. The shock infantry looks really cool with their like wintry uniforms. Well, the FPS is taking a massive toll, as is to be expected when the entire German Panzer Army arrives. I'm just trying to get hits in the back here. My my mortar should be up now. It doesn't have that much ammo to go off though. Machine guns up, 85 millimeters up. We actually have a vehicle or a gun in the form of this 85 that can probably pin a large majority of the German tanks. Also, the reload time on this is absolutely... Oh my god! Well, we're do I don't think we're not going to crash. We're going to crash at some point in this. It's going to happen. The reload time on this is almost insane. Holy shit. That's dead. Alright, let's blow up some more Panzer threes. Hopefully get some less lag after we do that. But in all seriousness, I'm not really sure how long this is going to be sustainable FPS-wise or, or non-crashing-wise, but we'll see what happens. I do want to kind of get this thing to kill some more in or tanks, because that was a really cool explosion on that Panzer III. Okay, my KV-1 has finally bit the dust. My FPS is also eating ass at this point, pretty much. Uh, we need to get an assault squad and put him in the right trench. Mortars going ham. We got machine guns. 
There is too much stuff on the map right now. Oh my god, look at that! What's happening? Why are people burning? Why are there just random guys running away burning? That is... It's a fair question, if you ask me. So we only get one of those 85... Wait, what is this? Why does it have the picture of a... Artillery piece? Let's buy it. Let's see what it does. It's 150 points. Who cares? This thing is kind of ridiculous. The fire rate on this... I might have to message Norman and be like, Oi, that ain't... That ain't good. Because my infantry, who are running at two frames per second. It's not even my computer. Honestly, my computer is totally fine. I'm running an i7 6850K uh, with a 1080 Ti EVG8 FTW3. Uh, so it's not my computer. I also have a RAM unlocker for this, uh, for Men of War, which uh, I got given to one of the modders. Given by given to me by one of the modders for assault squad 2 said use this it'll help you crash less often because i'm sure if i were to old tab right now and look check task manager as i'm doing i'm using 3000 memory right now as far as i'm aware men of war can only use about 2000 and then it usually crashes if you go over that so interesting little uh, information there i'm not sure if it would have crashed but I assume so because I have had a lot of crashes before in this game and honestly when I was defending uh, in the previous obviously version in the customizable skirmish uh, mod usually it would crash playing defense because as you can see right now luckily this is all I have to deal with it's just this entire field of tanks uh, but yeah I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to sustain this let's get an ammo truck and I don't mean that infantry wise I mean that <laughs> frames wise my AT gun is running out of ammo it's running out of ammo because it has it got it get like 60 rounds but because it's firing like one every three seconds if not faster it's honestly ridiculous that crew is bailing we have probably not more than 15 FPS right now which is great ooh wait a second I have, I have this. I have a flare gun. Oh no, please, 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 sir, please, calm it down. Please, T28, T28, please go. I can't reverse because we're on the fucking line of the map. I have my radio man coming in. Well, we're losing flags left and right. All right, here's my guy. If I get him close enough behind the KV-2 to fire uh, like one of those salvos with the artillery grenade uh, it, or artillery pistol, it'll be really awesome. Uh, I'm just missing all my shots. This thing is broken more or less. At least there's nothing new coming in. It's just what, you know, whatever is here is, is there and that's it. That's luckily the worst about it or the best about it. I need to get closer than this. We're not. We're not having great frames. It might be like 60 meters, isn't it? Wait a second. Hold. Hold. Fire! He just fired five rounds. Retreat! The ammo is here. Gotta get my guy out of that truck. Oh my god, the artillery in the background! Holy balls! Well, that clean up a large part of the map. I guess. That's something. My god, that was ridiculous. KV2 is fine. The thing is getting ammo, like, it's not getting its ammo as quick as, you know, it's firing it, which is honestly ridiculous. Also, the accuracy in this is really bad for some reason. I need to repair that. The amount of fires going on, the frames are coming back. This war wasn't against the, Ru the Germans, the war was against the frames. But on all seriousness, the war was against the frames, because goddamn, my fucking frames, dude. I mean, they're back now. That's good, I guess. 
the majority of them are back. We have we have killed quite a few Germans with that last artillery strike. They just couldn't push. This single 85 millimeter guns got 22 kills already. We can just sneak up here, get a good hit in with the artillery. So another thing that the AI will do in this mod is they'll repair tanks. Whether it's friendly or enemy AI, the cool thing about this mod is the AI will then go ahead, repair a tank, and they'll man it uh, to try and to, you know, get it to its fullest extent. Honestly, makes, like, basically you have to either kill or capture. Holy shit, that tank just got wrecked. Wrecked. What is that voice? Wrecked. Sorry, I don't know what that voice was. Anyway, what it means is you have to kill or capture every tank you see. So if you don't, the enemy will just, you know, whenever they overrun your position or whenever they, you know, get up to where you are right now, um, they will, you know, try and steal your shit. That tank was trying to be repaired. No, no more. So yeah, if you lose one of your tanks, enemy will eventually walk up to it and repair it and try and, you know, use your own tank against you. So either don't lose your tanks or for the first time in any Men of War history that I can think of other than multiplayer, Use TNT, what it's what it's used should be used for in the game, on tanks, and it is to destroy your own tanks if they are going to fall into enemy hands in enemy territory. You don't want an AI to capture a ti oh okay good 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 good. You don't want an AI to capture a tiger. Uh, you know you spend a lot of time getting, just to you know, fuck you up with. It. Also, I'm gonna have to repay my debt here. Which we just did. Okay, we're getting ammo back. That's good. Trucks out of ammo already? Are you serious? Alright, let's put an ammo crate down for the uh, KV-2. I'm sure it takes a lot of ammo, though. What is this mortar at? Okay, it's still fine. Probably would be a good idea to get this mortar to get on a, get it blah, 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 to give the mortar a heavy ammo crate as well. I can't believe we actually held back that massive advance. But yeah, um, what I'm trying to say this entire time, but I totally forgot to say honestly, is uh, I'll probably do one that's an actual attack one, and we'll probably go into the hour plus video as is tradition with uh, these missions where. We'll sit here and try and break through the enemy lines, but it's going to take probably an hour, if not more, every time to just get somewhere. Uh, but I think it'll be cool and interesting. But the, the coolest thing, in my, in my opinion there, is that because of the way this mod's worked out, or the way it's set up, I can ask you guys for suggestions. Like, you know, give me a suggestion, like 1942, uh, you know, Japan uh, versus America and Britain. Or you know, uh, Germany and Hungary versus whatever, or France versus Italy. Um, there's so many different variations and ideas. And honestly, that's always the most exciting thing. That was the most that was the most fun thing to do for me when I started playing this, was asking people in the comment section, being like, hey, you know, uh, give me some ideas and we'll, we'll check them out. So hopefully you guys like this and you guys are as excited as I am about the fact that Valor now it means it's a very stable mod, uh, no crashes. I mean, it's laggy, but that's because there is about a hundred billion tanks on the map. Um, can I get this guy in there? Come on, get in. Ah, uh, it's probably waiting for it to stop moving. It's my bad. What we'll do is uh, we'll set an attack marker up here for my AI, and then we'll move up the eighty-five millimeter gun. And a KV-2, actually we'll also get, uh, I guess we'll get a KV-8. And then we'll use the flamethrower idea. This T-20 is actually Fakuf. Get out of the trench. And I'm in all seriousness, get out. There you go. We'll use the sweet, sweet flamethrower on that. And then uh, these, this 85 actually saved our skin. 34 vehicle kills. I'm uh, kind of sad that the Hungarians didn't weren't actually a part in the attack. I definitely selected them as a faction. Uh, I guess it just means that next time I do this, I'll have to have the Hungarians be the main faction with the Germans supporting them. But um, also, oh, KV-1S, nice. 
Um, another thing is there that, you know, it's just that I forgot that I guess in the defense missions there's only one faction on on the attacking side that attacks you. And there's not like a second faction. Because like you can see with me, I have the Soviets who are helping me. Um, another issue is, and this is probably the, the anno most annoying thing about the mod, and I don't know if someone will ever fix it. Um, but the way it works is if you're defending or if you're playing by yourself, let's say I pick uh, like Soviet Union or whatever, right? And then um, I can pick the Soviet Union as a faction to be my ally. However, if you're picking the attacker, the attacker can never have an ally of the same nation, if that makes sense. So if you're saying, yeah, I want Germany to be the attacking nation, you cannot have Germany be his ally. It has to be Italy or Hungary or anything like that, which is maybe the biggest downside. But what I guess what it means is what we can do is we could do some uh, more liberal games where we could have... Uh, like North, not North Korea, because they're not in this at the moment. They're in Valor, but they're not in this particular like version of the mod. Uh, but what you can do, I think, what would be really cool. So there's a medic, an AI medic. I'm trying to rescue my guys right now. Come on, the AI just stole my gun. You absolute prick nuggets. That's what's gonna happen. It's cool, but it's also annoying when I want my cool gun, right? But um, well, let's get a half track full of regards. The thing is, we can do some alternate like reality things that'd be really cool like germany versus uh the soviet union but like germany can be helped by america or by britain could be could be some cool ideas there also as you can see the germans are trying to steal the russian at guns and you bastards they're also actively trying to hunt down your tanks because that's the main thing in this ai does not like you having tanks and they'll hunt your sorry ass down until you lose your tanks which kind of sucks so I guess we'll do, we'll get another KV-8, and, well, I guess I'm not getting my gun back, because, yeah, well, that sucks. I guess I can always grenade the guys off of the gun. It's not really the nicest way to, thing to do, but there we go. I mean, look, dude, you, you gotta fight the AI somehow. All right, let's put the gun up front. Let's tow this. And then let's pull it up to the front. Red guards are pulling up to the front as well. And then we just have to beat off these last uh, guys at the end. We'll have to capture their flag. Also, their our artillery disappeared. I, think, I don't think it got killed. I just think it disappeared after their assaults stopped happening to give us a chance to get a bit closer. IL-2 is coming in. What's my half-track doing? Is it going to do a run on those units? It might. Ooh! Another one! Another one! No! Damn it, no rocket strike. That sucks. Alright, we're capturing back the flags. It's really wishes this half-track actually got out of the friggin' ditch. Stop being dumb. My KV-8's arrived. I kind of wanted to get all the way to the end so we can just burn these Panzer threes. I think 100 millimeters of armor could be enough. Not sure. The KV-1S has less, so the KV-1S can survive than I can survive. But like I said, I don't know. I don't know how much I could survive that or not. So we're going to figure it out right now. Also, why am I being left behind by this thing? You absolute little Rudolph. That's a bit stupid. All right, well, KV-8's pushing up. Infantry jumps out. Double click so he has the gun out. And now we just have to either have our infantry push up or we have to wait for friendly. I mean, I hear my KVA coming in. The KV1S is taking shot. Oh, I just got tracked. There's also a Panzer Shrek over there to the right. Get my mortar up here. What's the range on that? 160. Look at that. One of the... So one of the guard's rifle picked up. That's another thing they'll do. They'll pick up weapons when we're out of ammo. They'll pick up important weapons like AT uh, machine guns, heavy machine guns, AT rifles. So you'll see guys that 
Like, this guy, the medic has an MG-34. Like, to me, that's really cool, because it means that the AI, like, is, has been told that some weapons have to be, you know, preferred over others. And uh, there must have been a lot of coding involved in making this particular... Obviously, he's using the coding, I think, from the customizable skirmish mod. What is that? There's a there's an actual single Hungarian tank? And now it's dead? Now it's dead. Oh, that makes me feel sad. It tried. Let's load APCR. Let's kill this Panzer III because this gun is pretty terrible. It's only a 45 millimeter gun that the KV-8 has, uh, you know, besides its flamethrower. We just destroy that one. They're busy shooting. Oh, ooh, there goes. Wait, there's another Hungarian tank destroyer coming in now. Why does this turret look so weird? Is it what? This turret looks kind of weird. I guess maybe it's the shadow. All right, well there goes that Hungarian tank destroyer. Let's have the flamethrower ready. Deliver some Soviet justice. This could be really laggy. It's gonna even potentially crash my game. Ooh, that guy just got sniped in time. Here we go, burn, bitches! It's pretty brutal, honestly. Oh, God. How is... Oh, that one tank is behind everything. Okay, did not know that. Well, I'll have to just move up. The good thing is about this tank that the flamethrower is in the uh, turret in the uh, coaxial mount and not like in a lot of other flamethrower tanks in the hull. Uh, I think the Church of Crocodile has one in the hull, which is honestly in a very bad spot because it's very frustrating. Those people should be dead. They're still alive. Somehow. Do I have APCR left in this? I don't. Well, we've, we're have we about to capture this flag. Let's actually get these guys on board. Let's get them in there. We have T-28s coming in. More T-28s. Let's get these guys to move up and secure the flag. I think that I have to do that myself. Oh, hang on. I'll wait for this one guy to get in. Otherwise, it's a bit awkward, eh? There we go. He should be in now. Are you serious, dude? Get in! There we go. And now, I do love that, like, giant star on top of T-28. The T-28 is such a stupid design. But we should be able to capture this back and then uh, win the battle. And if not, I think we won the battle anyway, considering there's no Germans or, well, one of the few Hungarians that would be here left. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I'm surprised by how good the frames are again after all of that. But uh, I, I guess it just comes to show that this game does have a lot of flaws. But with mods, um, and especially, you know, having a billion tanks on the field, I'm pretty sure every game would not really appreciate that. The question is, is this map bugged or not? We're going to find out. Well, it appears to be bugged. I have guys inside the zone. There's no enemies. So what we're going to do, we're going to call here. We're obviously going to get back to this mod at some point. I just really wanted to show you guys uh, this mod and how it kind of brought back memories from years and years ago. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys awesome. Cheers.